And hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of The Zone TV Movie Entertainment with me, your host Jonathan, once again bringing you my thoughts and movie review for the brand new Vin Diesel film, Bloodshot. That's right, I saw Bloodshot before this whole chaotic mess happened. And now that, you know, movie theaters now are starting to shut down, hopefully everybody's safe out there. This might probably be the last movie review that I have done. I've also seen The Invisible Man. And I will review that one as next as this after this one. So just letting you guys know. But don't worry, Flash, Arrow, I mean Flash, Legends, and Black Batwoman and Supergirl. I will still review those. Because they're still on TV right now. So don't worry about those. They'll still be here. So you guys can check those out. Um, so let's talk about Bloodshot. So Bloodshot, like I said, stars Vin Diesel, and it's a valent comic book, I believe. You know, you know those dark graphic novel comic books of superheroes that you know a lot of people don't know too much about. I didn't really know too much about this Bloodshot character. I was like, okay, it's a superhero film, sure, like those kind of things. Love Vin Diesel, he can do anything. You know, he's Dominic Toretto, so there's that. And um, so I, I figure I'd give it a shot. So apparently, this movie is about this soldier who, let's just say, he gets into an accident. And he pretty much comes back very differently. Meaning he has kind of like superpowers in a way of technology. Where he has like little microscopic robots that's inside his system. And this is all in the trailer, so spoiler for the trailer, I guess. And um, every time he gets injured or attacked or, you know, cut or whatever, the nanites inside his body, they start to fix his body. And he's basically indestructible. So, he basically wants revenge on what happened to his wife. Something terrible happened to her. If you've seen the trailer, you know what I'm talking about. We you know the comic book. And we have Guy Pearce in this movie as well. He's kind of like the main bad guy. And, um, legitimately, Vin Diesel is pretty much out for revenge. That's the easiest way I can tell you about this movie without actually spoiling anything. And, um, I would recommend this movie, but now that everything's going on right now... Don't go see it, not yet, go see it afterwards, everything's hopefully done with this situation, but um, I thought this movie was fun. It wasn't like the greatest comic book movie in the history of comic book movies, it's not Avengers, it's not even anywhere near the Dark Knight, it's not anywhere near Joker level, it, it was just a very fun little action com comic book film, you know, we haven't had those too much in a while, you know, it's been a while since we had those you know, the days where bat nipples were the fun, campy stuff. Not that this was, this had campiness, sure. We got some bad guys that had some, like, technology to make them super enhanced that he had to fly. That was pretty cool. Some of the CG stuff was actually really worked. I thought that, that was actually pretty cool. Cause I swore I thought this movie was going to have, like, super, like, heavy effects. And it was going to make it look sloppy and messy. Only one scene, and if you've seen the trailer, you know what I'm talking about. It's in the elevator. It's in literally in the trailer. It's the big action scene in the elevator scene. You watch that scene. Good scene overall. It was just the CG. You could tell that they spent all the money in that particular scene. And that part, to me, was like the worst part of it. It didn't throw me off. It was just like very noticeable. Very, very noticeable. So, that, that's my only negative about this movie. But, I, I still enjoy it. I mean, Vin Diesel being, is playing Vin Diesel. Every time you watch him in a movie, he's pretty much playing Dom. So, you know, you can't really get mad at him. You know? Because I know where he, his career is going to go. He, his career is only going to be action movies and Fast and Furious. And that's it. And, you know, he's not on that level where he could be a dramatic actor. He, he probably could if he wanted to. But, he's at that point now. He's like... There's no point for him trying to. He's done dramatic roles before, but he's never done more than that. So it's like, yeah, he's going to stick to this section of his life. And that's not bad, but that's where we keep our peace with Vin Diesel now. So um, he's just going to be who he is. So that's that's fine with me. Um, um, yeah, so... That's basically the gist of the movie. I, I, like I said, I thought the movie was fine. Story was pretty cool. It kept me intrigued. You know, the pacing was, you know, kind of, 
a little bit of slowness, but at least it was able to be like, okay, it's slow, but I understand where you're coming from, and I understand what this story is about, because I don't know anything too much about the character, but, um, it was enough for the artist to be like, oh, okay, so that's why he's, that, that's why, so that's why it makes sense, so, you know, it didn't drag on, it just slowly explained why he's going from point A to point B to point C, and getting to point, uh, D at the end of it, so I was like, okay, that's fun. And it was a good time. I, I I thought, like I said before, I thought I enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. A couple of cheesy, you know, action scenes, whatever. But I still had fun with it. It's not the greatest comic book movie, but it was just fun. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about it. If you guys was able to get a chance to see it before all this mayhem happened, and um, you guys know anything about the comic book, you guys thought Vin Diesel was the right fit for it. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about it. Thank you very much, and have a good day. Thank you.